Hello, I'm Partha Paila. I'm the Vice President of Product Solutions and Design at Fungible. I'm super excited to take you on a tour of the Fungible Data Center product today. Modern data centers are incredibly complex ecologies with many moving parts. Administrators have to manage dozens of activities such as authentication, infrastructure definition and provisioning, multi-tenancy, underlay networks, overlay networks, isolation, application deployment and orchestration, and on and on and on. And typically, infrastructure administrators have to rely on different products built by different teams over different times to manage these deeply interconnected and overlapping activities. It is no wonder that survey after survey of professionals rate simplicity as their top requirement when they look at solutions in this space. The pursuit of an easy to use, comprehensive, single pane of glass management and orchestration solution has been the holy grail in our industry. Well, I'm here to report that that quest is finally over. We designed the Fungible Data Center, or the FDC as we call it, from the ground up to make your life easy so you can focus on what brings most value to your business. Simplicity, agility, performance, and unparalleled economics. So let me show you some of the highlights of the Fungible Data Center. Starting with the two types of roles supported in the solution. The data center administrator role, who is responsible for managing the data center's hardware infrastructure resources, the allocation of those resources to self-sufficient tenants. And the second type of role of the tenant, or what we call logical partitions, who is responsible for consuming those allocated resources by deploying applications. I will show you how easy it is to create these self-sufficient logical partitions in a bit, but first, let's dive into the world of a data center administrator. This is the management portal for the data center administrators, and they can log in using their organization's authentication credentials. The FDC provides an authentication service that integrates with practically all popular identity providers out there, such as LDAP, Kerberos, Active Directory, and so on. The data center administrator can manage all assets of the fungible data center via this administrative plane. This includes general purpose diskless servers, top of the rack switches, and of course, our all powerful fungible storage arrays. The infrastructure assets under management of the FDC are described using a robust key value metadata system. And these metadata can later be used to filter and or select specific hardware assets. For example, you can select by saying, find me a server that has 24 cores or greater with a minimum of 2.2 gigahertz clock frequency. The results of such a query can then be used either for an allocation criteria to logical partitions or to specify the needs of a particular application workload. For the data center administrator, DC provides a complete picture of hardware health and telemetry of all assets under management. Another core area of complexity we tackled in the FDC was networking. We built capabilities into the product in a way that our solution integrates seamlessly with existing customer infrastructures. Customers can leverage their existing investments in NFV systems and other hardware-accelerated network devices such as load balancers and firewalls. Specifically, the FDC provides four core networking capabilities. One, a powerful network controller that just works out of the box for managing all underlay networking needs, including support for virtual routing functions, or VRFs for short, to handle overlapping network ranges. Two, a complete overlay networking capability at line rate speeds with DHCP and other required services. This means you can deploy an overlay network straight out of the box. It is as simple as creating a CIDA block in a VRF of choice, and then creating a network by specifying the name, the IP range, mask, and a few DHCP settings. That's it. The network is now ready and can be assigned for use to one or more logical partitions. The third networking capability is the ability to delegate a CIDA block, meaning a range of IP addresses. 
in a particular VRF to a logical partition so administrators of that logical partition can create their own networks. We designed this for our MSP and CSP customers so they can offer maximum flexibility to their customers. The fourth core networking capability is what we call pass-through network. This gives the ability for customers to bypass the FDC's overlay networks and plug in their own network controller. This allows customers to optionally leverage their existing infrastructure and business rules and policies. And customers can mix and match, meaning uh, they can use the pass-through mode for some logical partitions and the built-in fungible network controller for other logical partitions. So that's an overview of networking. Now to wrap up this discussion of the data center administrator role, let's talk about perhaps the most important activity of this role, which is allocating resources to logical partitions. Creating a logical partition is as easy as giving it a name, allocating storage resources and quality of service quotas, and allocating compute resources in the form of whole servers. This is where the powerful filtering capabilities of the FDC come into play. Any metadata of the server can be used as a selection criteria for this allocation. The only thing left to do is allocate networking resources to this logical partition. So let's do that by selecting the network we just created. So it is as simple as that to create a self-sufficient tenant in the FDC. Now let's look at the world of the FDC from the perspective of the tenant or logical partition administrator. Logical partition administrators have their own management portal with an independent authentication plane. This independent authentication plane makes it super easy for our CSP and MSP customers to provide a seamless authentication experience to their customers who may be organizations outside the boundaries of the CSP and MSP. Once logged in, the LP administrators have everything they need to be self-sufficient. So let's see how easy it is for the logical partition administrator to deploy an application. Let's say we want to deploy a single server workload with a generic Ubuntu operating system. In the FDC, we call the set of resources needed to deploy a workload an environment. So let's create an environment and call it Ubuntu Base OS. In this environment, we can now define the geometry of the server we need for this workload. We call this a composition profile in the FDC. Let's call this composition profile for this type of workload general purpose server. We only need one such server for this workload, so we'll specify one as the instance count for this composition profile. Let's say from a compute perspective, we want a server with a specific number of cores and memory. From a storage perspective, let's specify the disks, one for boot and one for data. Uh, we will specify the boot disk to be imaged to an Ubuntu Goldmaster version and leave the data disk as raw. And finally, from a network perspective, let's specify a NIC and the network it should join. And that's it. The FDC selects a candidate server that matches the compute specifications from a disaggregated pool of diskless servers and composes the disks and NICs as specified. We can now console into this newly forged server and see the various composed disks. For the workload, these appear just as local NVMe disks. Similarly, we can see the NIC and the network we specified. So it is as easy as that to compose a bare metal server. Now, using this core capability to create servers of arbitrary geometries, we can build templates to repeatably deploy applications of any scale and complexity. The FTC has marketplaces of such application templates, all ready to be deployed with a single click. Here is an example of a template for a Cassandra environment. The compute specifications, disks, the Goldmaster image for those disks, the NICs, and the first boot cloud init parameters are already defined in here. So all that is left to do is specify the network. The specified servers are automatically composed, imaged, and configured. Super cool, isn't it? But there is more. Imagine a typical data center situation 
where one of the application clusters is running at peak capacity and could use more resources, while there are other application clusters that are idling and barely using theirs. Wouldn't it be great if we could non-disruptively move these resources from the idling workloads to the ones at full load? Well, in the FDC, you could do that as easily as this. Go to the idling application. Let's pick the Ubuntu workload we just deployed. Select an instance, shut it down, and detach the diskless compute server driving it. The application state of this instance, including the hardware signature, the disk and NIC states, including the MAC and IP addresses, are all preserved. Then you can go to the at load application and use that server we just detached to rehydrate an instance to alleviate its load. Now let's take a moment to reflect on what we achieved here. The action of taking a general purpose server that is driving one application instance, detaching it while preserving the entire hardware state of that workload, and moving it to power another workload instance somewhere else is just one small step in the FDC. But it is a giant leap in the evolution of data center. Starting now, you don't have to look at a workload and try to figure out what resources you have on what rack in the data center to deploy that workload. You can take any generalized resources to hotspots anywhere else in the data center. This is thin provisioning of servers, something that is not possible today in bare metal. So a data center no longer has to be this monolithic entity with rigid islands of immutable hardware types. A data center can now be this fungible, self-balancing ecosystem where compute resources can dynamically be moved from places where they are underutilized to hotspots where they are best utilized. The fungible data center is a carefully crafted labor of love from an incredible team of designers, engineers, and product people. We absolutely loved building it and cannot wait for you to try it. Thank you.